gun? Weird nondescript name aside, this one comes to us from Neversoft, the Guitar Hero and Tony Hawk guys. Somehow even weirder. It's a western theme action adventure game in the same vein as Red Dead Revolver. And I say that because now we're never going to be able to get away from Rockstar no matter how much we try. Gun has you play as Colton White, a gruff, rootin' tootin' hip shootin' cowboy hell-bent on revenge towards the people who kill his father. Which he'll do by hip firing away at rogue cowboys and the indigenous. Does that sound like the most bog-standard western that could ever be? Sure does! Is there a problem with that? Sure does! Do you think anyone's ever broken their hip from firing the gun at that angle? Sure does! Now, I'm sure we've come around to the idea that portraying the indigenous in this kind of media, in a respectful manner, is usually the better approach to, uh, I don't know, portraying them in a way that uh, demonizes them. And Gun has a weird mixture of both of these approaches, which caught some very not positive attention from some Native American support groups. So not very positive that a dedicated website titled BoycottGun.com popped up soon afterwards. The website in question displayed a petition intending for the game's publisher Activision to, and I quote, edit and remove all derogatory, harmful, and inaccurate depictions of American Indians, and so on and so forth. And if they didn't do that, then these guys would work their asses off to ensure that this game was removed from all retailers and banned forever. I'll let you be the judge on how that worked out. Not to dismiss their concerns, as the indigenous in this game are portrayed in a, <laughs> let's say, unflattering way for a good portion of the game, until, spoiler alert, it's revealed that Colton White is part Apache himself, and then he spends the rest of the game helping his fellow natives. Told you it'd be a weird mix, and one that these groups did acknowledge in these petitions, but still took issue with regardless. Not a whole lot came out from this afterwards, and maybe it's not quite as interesting as some of Rockstar's controversies, but... Well, I don't recall any of their websites being taken over by incest porn, so again, you be the judge.